Pipes Drums here with uh, Margaret Dunn. Margaret is a teacher and instructor with the National Piping Center, and she also manages the CLASP uh, League of Competitions for Amateur Pipers. Uh, CLASP actually stand, stands for Competition League for Amateur Solo Pipers, in, mainly in the UK, but offering uh, anybody can become a member of CLASP and uh, anybody can compete in their amateur events. Uh, so. Margaret, how have things progressed with CLASP over the 15 years since uh, the league started? Yeah, the, the league started, it launched actually alongside Piping Live in 2003. And it was pretty slow to start with. We had to spread the word. And um, I think because CLASP was the first um, UK um, association that graded its amateur pipers, you know, it, it we had to build up numbers across three grades. It wasn't just a, an open amateur event. So it did take time. And over the years, we, we traveled to different venues and locations throughout the UK, particularly in Scotland. And I suppose we've kind of settled on um, suitable venues and locations um, which suit the members and um, our UK and our overseas members and are accessible for them to travel to as well. Mm -hmm. And um, I suppose a, a big development over the years was the addition of the Highland Games circuit. So CLASP attends four Highland Games um, pre-COVID. And um, I think it's a really good experience for the members to play outdoors because all of our other events were indoors up until that point so it gives them a taste for maybe if they're considering moving into the professional ranks um a lot of their uh, competing would be at highland games and not nice and warm inside in a indoor setting so mm -hmm. and what about uh, you're you're expanding a little bit uh this year uh moving into sort of more the the lower end of of amateur uh piping tell us a little about a little bit about that yeah, so we've um, introduced grade four events for our next two online competitions. Um, so the, a lot of the Highland Games have been cancelled. So we've replaced our next event um, with a virtual Highland Games. And of course, in August um, uh, at Piping Live, we run the World Amateur Solo Piping Competition. So that will also be online and offering grade four events but with the option of grade five pipers also being able to play up in those grade four events. Okay, so that uh, maybe tell us a little bit about, um, you know, the, the, the makeup of the members of the CLASP League. Are they mainly from the UK or North America or all over the world? Like where are you seeing the concentration of your members most? Um, it's really, I suppose, um, UK based and North American based at the moment. I think the balance has shifted a little bit um, since everything has moved online. So there are more um, North American and a global membership, but um, we've still got a large number of UK members. Mm -hmm. in the and and online everyone shifted to online obviously uh except if you're lucky enough to be in new zealand um has that uh, has that opened things up even more for for clasp yeah absolutely um i mean we've always had international members but um certainly with the events moving online it's made it really a global competition and it has risen the standard and it's tough now to get in the prize list i think um but i think it's a it's a good thing for the members they get a feel maybe where they would rank uh on a worldwide platform now in their grade mm -hmm. yeah it sounds like it's uh it makes it truly uh international not that it wasn't before but much more accessible i think everyone's kind of finding that out uh you know, the silver lining of, of the COVID experience. Um, but, you know, a lot of people might not realize that in the in the UK, there's really not that amateur sort of, or there hasn't been before CLASP, 
that amateur system that you see around the world as far as you know grade one grade two and having uh people older than than 18 having uh, giving them a place to play the uk has kind of had traditionally you know, either juniors or senior, senior level pipers and that was it um so do you think uh clasp has been able to fill that gap uh for the uk especially um, i think that the main goal when clasp was first set up was to provide a platform for adult amateur pipers as you mentioned there was always lots of um junior competitions and there the the professional um pipers are catered for with competing pipers association so um i think there was definitely um a need maybe to for, to provide a platform for adult amateur pipers and the clasp wanted to provide a graded um series of of events um throughout the year and try to provide good quality judges who can give good quality feedback as well um to the members competing and just really try to promote and and rise the standard of amateur piping mm -hmm. and, and you mentioned uh that four four games in uh in scotland had adapted clasp before COVID, so in-person competitions run by CLASP, if I'm if I'm following correctly, do you see more of an expansion uh, when you know post-pandemic when we return to to live? Uh, would you like to see more uh, more competitions, um, in-person competitions around the UK adopt that amateur the amateur league? Um, I think um, you know the option is always is always there for um, organisers to approach the class if they would like to sanction competitions. We we do um, have a competition sanctioned at Chatsworth um, Games, which is down south, and um, the class has always been keen to run alongside some associations as well. So we have ran um, amateur events at the Scottish Piping Society in London, and um, but uh, venue space is a bit of an issue there um, currently, but um, also at the Northern Meetings, we have a CLASP event there. So I think um, we're always keen to to run, you know, to with other organizations, but, you know, I suppose it's up to each each uh, event organizer if they want to um, create or, or to to use the CLASP system or not um, for, for their particular event. Mm -hmm. and what about when when CLASP was first being built? And I guess as you've gone along, have you looked at how other associations around the world have built their own and structured their own amateur competitions and and sort of taken the best of that and applied it to your thinking yeah i think that that we always had uh, i suppose our own vision as well on on how it would fit and how it would work best within the uk solo piping scene but yes absolutely we we did look at um other structures and um especially to get ideas and, you know, to, to refine maybe what we were looking to do, to do ourselves. Mm -hmm. And okay, so, uh, you know, you've, you've talked about the expansion into grade four uh, and grade five and ability to play up, I guess. Um, so what else is, what's what's next for competitive amateur piping in, in, uh, in the UK and around the world with CLASP? Yeah, so I, th I think we'll just continue to bring um, a series of competitions to our members, whether that's online or in person. I, I think going forward, maybe it'll be a, a blend of what we knew pre-COVID and what we currently do. But um, I think ultimately just trying to provide good judges, good feedback, um, and just a high level of um, competitive experience for the members. Well, that's great. Uh, you know, Margaret Dunn, I uh, really appreciate you taking the time. Uh, 
you know, clasp, uh, you know, it's been interesting to see how things have progressed over the last 15 years. And it sounds like some good stuff happening right now and into the future. So thanks again for, uh, for providing the time with Pipes Drums today. Thanks for having me.